Hello everyone, it is Rachel here from Makers Gonna Learn and I'm coming at you with another amazing video today. This one is gonna be all about how to make, seal, and apply car decals with Cricut. So we're gonna be breaking down a lot of different uh, ways that you guys can make car decals and that means we're gonna be making a print and cut one and a regular adhesive vinyl one. So it's gonna be super fun, super exciting, and I'm actually gonna give you guys some tips and tricks on how to apply these like a pro, how to seal these so that they last last so much longer than they would originally and things like that. So get ready for another amazing video of awesome tips and tricks. But guys, if you don't know who we are or what we do, we run an amazing membership website just for die cutting crafters. So if you guys have a die cutting machine that works with SVG and PNG cut files, that could be a Cricut, a Brother, a Silhouette, anything like that, you guys will love this membership. We have over 2,000 cut files, over 250 fonts that our yearly members get along with three free e-courses, a free commercial license, which means you guys can sell what you make using our cut files and fonts. We have free printable guides, access to a members only Facebook group, and so, so much more. If you guys want to join in on that fun, definitely consider doing so. You will not regret it. So guys, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into the video. So you guys actually don't need a lot of supplies when it comes to making car decals. They're relatively simple to make and even easier to apply and they last such a long time and they make great gifts. You can have some that are super funny. You can have some that are really serious. You can make some with monograms to give as gifts. There's just so many possibilities, especially for our yearly members that Makers are gonna learn that have access to all of the fonts. They get to have the most fun, but I have to let you guys in on a secret. In today's video, the two cut files that we're using today, or excuse me, the one cut file and one font, we are using a monogram font today and a cut file, and you guys get both of those for free, which is incredible. You do not have to be a member to access these. Just click the link below and go ahead and enjoy these. So that's super exciting to know. So you guys do get a beautiful uh, monogram font that we're using and also a really cute little mermaid cut file. So um, without further ado, let's go ahead and talk about the supplies we're using. So we're gonna need regular adhesive vinyl. This is 651 vinyl. Now, if you guys want, to go and hunt out permanent vinyl or vinyl that you think is the strongest or premium outdoor, whatever you want to do. In my humble opinion for being a crafter for about four years full time, I don't feel like the, it makes a difference. I really don't. I think that most of them are uh, using the same amount of adhesive and I personally don't see a difference. Maybe there's a finish difference, like some are matte and some are uh, glossy, maybe something like that, but I do not see a difference in the adhesion of it. So that's just my personal preference. If you guys know a brand that you guys absolutely love that you think is super sticky, definitely use it, but we're just going to use regular uh, white uh, 651 vinyl today. We get ours, or this is Oracle 651. We get it at 651vinyl.com. It's a great place. Um, you're also going to need some printable vinyl. This is Cricut brand. And we do love Cricut Brands printable vinyl. So you can buy this at the store, on Amazon, wherever you would like. And um, it's got, how many sheets come in a pack here? 10 sheets. So you get 10 sheets in a pack. And if you guys use the full sheets, you will get a lot of bang for your buck there. So we do love that. That's what we're going to use for our print and cut sticker today. We're also going to need some um, Minwax polyurethane spray. So you guys can use whatever type you like. There's um, regular, there's fast drying, there's gloss, there's satin. Uh, we like, of course, the clear ones. Don't get any that are tinted. And we're just going to use the clear satin today. So that is what we're going to be using. And that is for a little trick to seal our print and cut decal because that is going to make it last so much longer. We also have some rubbing alcohol and paper towels. And you're also going to need some um, transfer tape. It doesn't matter what type. This is going on a car. So you don't want to use something that's super sticky like for instance Cricut Strong Grip transfer tape you do not want to be using that so we're going to opt for our really um I don't know delicate um masking paper transfer tape that does a great job on really any vinyl project for us and that's about it guys now I, I have made these before several times and they they work great. The regular vinyl one stays on just about as long as I want it to and then we actually made a printable 
when uh, for my car back in the day a couple of years ago and guys it stayed on there until I made it come off. I had to use commercial grade acetone and get it off because I I was you know ready for it to come off but it stayed that long. The only problem was I did not seal it and I don't have a garage to pull into or a carport to pull under at my house. I'm just kind of open to all the elements. So the only thing that happened was that the ink kind of uh, got dull on me through the sun and everything like that. So sealing it is a great way to hold in that color and hold in that ink to stay a lot longer than mine ever did. But if we're talking about sticking power, I had to work to get uh, my decal off. But uh, just to um, make sure that the colors stay vibrant for a very long time, that's why we're gonna seal it. So that's a great tip that I can't wait to show you. So now guys, don't forget to get your free cut file and your free font down below. I'm gonna go ahead and jump into Design Space and show you guys how to create these amazing uh, projects. Here we are guys and I have my personal monogram here and then we have this adorable print and cut uh, mermaid tail decal here. Now just look at this guys. Look at the beautiful colors. Look how gorgeous there uh, there's so many colors in this there's like a blue there's some green some purple it just looks like a beautiful watercolor and this is going to look great on anybody's car especially a mermaid lover and i am going to totally point her out becca thought this was a whale tail so if you love whales you, then you could totally use this for a whale tail you know do dolphins have a tail like this who knows i don't think so but that's okay if you love the sea, you will love this cup file and you get it for free. And then moving over here, this is a gorgeous monogram that I decided to give you all for free. It is Makers Gonna Learn's twirly monogram. And okay, so this might be a little bit confusing, but for all of our twirly monograms, we have three separate fonts that you have to download. So really, you guys are kind of getting three fonts instead of one, but our monogram fonts do come as uh, one folder here with three separate fonts. So there is a right, a left, and a center font that comes with it, and they all look different to match up together to make the perfect monogram. So if we go up here to text, and we go to choose our font, we're gonna go to system fonts, and we're gonna type out twirly. And I always like to start in the center. So there's center left and right. So I'm gonna start in the center here and my center letter is gonna be L. So I'm just gonna type that in. And it doesn't really matter if you type it in lowercase or uppercase. Um, these amazing fonts just do all the work for you. And now I'm gonna go back up to text, get another text box, a whole nother text box, go back up, go to the uh, left one. I'm gonna type in R. And it's important that you don't move these from where they are on the mat. Leave them the same size, leave them overlapping each other. There's no harm with that. And then I'm gonna go with another text box, go back up here, go to the right side and type in E. Some monograms are in a bit of a weird order, but I totally understand the order. So in the middle, you can see is the biggest letter. That is your last name. So my last name is Langston. So my L is in the center there. My first name is Rachel, and that will go on the left side. And then my middle name is Elaine, so that will go on the right side. I know it might seem a little confusing, but I think it's actually really pretty. It kind of shows off your last name, especially if you're uh, newly married or really proud of your last name or what, you know, what have you it's a great way to just kind of you know use that in a monogram so I do enjoy having your last initial largest so now we're going to size those up together so if you guys didn't see me I'm going to actually go back and show you what I did here I was working too fast uh, after you have all these down here it looks like a blob you're going to drag and select all of them at one time and just make them so much bigger so we're going to drag them up here where we can really get to seeing them and now we can just take them and kind of move them over. And you can see how it knew that the middle monogram needed to be larger. So it already made it larger. We don't really have to resize these. We just have to position them the way that we want to. So uh, this is one of the projects that um, the Align tool does not do very well at because um, they're just kind of not going to be centered if that makes sense they're going to be a little bit um different shapes different places and that's okay they, they look really natural like that so just to make sure you lock the placement of it you know definitely move it around until you know it catches your eye more and then once you have it how you lock it you can drag them all together and click attach we're not going to weld it or anything just in case we want to change anything up later and then guys the second most important thing aside from having this amazing font and cut file for free is to make sure you measure your car 
car. You make sure you measure the little place on your window that you want it. You can Google popular car decal sizes, whatever you'd like to do. So usually for monograms, a lot of people like to place them on the back middle of their um, car there. So that's where mine is gonna go. So mine, I went outside and measured, and mine can be about seven inches wide and like five and or four and a half inches tall. So the width matters more than the height. You don't want a teeny tiny decal there in the middle. You want it to make a bit of a statement. So just make sure that you measure it. I took a measuring tape and went outside and measured mine. So you can unlock that button here at the bottom right of the selected layer that you have. And you can just kind of stretch it out. And we're just going to keep stretching it. And this is a good monogram that doesn't look um, like it has been manipulated too bad. So you can kind of move it around wherever you like it. And of course, keep manipulating it until you find the area that you like. Make sure you measure properly. Unfortunately, we can't put, you know, like the back window of a car in here. Like we love to put our frames in here uh, with basic shapes uh, just to visualize. Unfortunately, we can't do that with a car window, but you know, just to get the idea, just make sure that you measure plenty of times. So once you have that size and ready to go, I'm going to go ahead and erase this one because we have this one finished up here for us. Um, you feel free to go ahead and weld it if you want to, or you can just go ahead and leave it attached. There's uh, no harm in that. And now I will show you guys how we uploaded our uh, amazing little mermaid tail here because he is a PNG. So we're gonna click upload and upload image. And now we're gonna select complex. That just kind of makes sure the colors are super sharp and things like that. You can kind of see how dull it gets when you click simple and how uh, bright and vibrant it gets when you click complex. Now we're gonna click continue and now is where you wanna remove all the parts you do not want to um, have in your decal. So we don't want any of this white in there. So I'm just gonna um, select this and click it. And then now um, it's selecting erase mode right now. So then I'm gonna go inside our little um, circle here and click it again. And now you can see all it's gonna cut out is our beautiful watercolor here. So now you can click continue. And we're gonna save it as a print and cut image for sure. And then click save. And now it's right here at our recently uploaded images and you can just bring this right into design space. So guys, uh, it looks like it's just about the size we actually wanted it. Um, this would normally go on like the corner of the back of your car window. So I measured mine and saw, you know, how big I would like that. And mine is five inches uh, wide by just about five inches high. So it's almost a perfect circle here. So once you have that imported, just size it the way you want it and then you're ready to rock and roll guys. Now that you have your monogram size and attached and everything like that, just go ahead and click make it. And since we're using vinyl for this, there's no need to uh, mirror any of these layers here. So we're gonna go ahead and click next and we're gonna send our little guy to the printer here. And what you're gonna wanna do is go ahead and leave bleed on this. All this is gonna do is gonna bleed a little bit of extra ink on the edges so that if the Cricut cuts a little bit off, um, then you won't be able to tell because there's already some ink there where you need it. So it's really, it doesn't you know hurt your project in any way. So go ahead and leave bleed on and go ahead and print that out. And now that it is printed, we are gonna uh, select our material here. So we're gonna select browse all materials and we're gonna type in printable. And down here at the bottom, printable vinyl, I'm gonna go ahead and star that because we use it all the time. Um, we're gonna be using this printable vinyl setting and I'm gonna put it on more pressure. And now we're just gonna load this uh, printed image onto our mat. So here's our printed image all printed out. And before I get ahead of myself and load it onto my mat, there is uh, something you want to do. And right now is when you would seal this. So you are going to make sure that this has had a little bit of time to dry. You know, that ink sometimes needs just a, a bit of time to dry. And then go ahead and go outside to a well ventilated area. Um, and then you are just gonna take your uh, Minwax polyurethane and spray a really thin coat on it. And I will demonstrate that. So here's our decal and I have a poster board underneath here. I would not recommend doing this inside. Make sure that you do do it outside. But guys, it is a super rainy day here. So we are not gonna be able to go outside and do that, let alone film it out there. So I'm just gonna show you guys a little bit today. Uh, this is what we're using and um, we're just gonna open it up and shake it up. And then we're just gonna spray a, a generous coat on our decal here, um, just all over it. 
uh, you know, and it, what it's going to do, guys, is actually going to make the ink a little bit darker. And of course, it's going to seal that in. And then what you're going to want to do after you spray it is let it dry for about an hour or two hours. The, the longer you let it dry, the better. And it does need to dry overnight before you apply onto your car because we are going to use this masking paper transfer tape and it is a bit delicate. So just make sure you keep that in mind. And just spray a little light coat on here. I say light, but really kind of lay it on there, guys. And I've found that when you're using sprays like this, doing this in a, a little bit of a pump method kind of works out good. So you can actually hold this up to the light and see if it's coated well or not. You can do more than one coat if you want to, but really one generous coat should do just fine. Okay, and here is our dried decal. It looks great and it's dried beautifully. And guys, the colors got a little bit more darker and vibrant, which is perfect. And now all that we're gonna do is bring our mat in guys and apply this right down onto our mat and load it into our machine and just let the Cricut sense and cut this guy out. All right guys, it's already cut out and now we're just gonna go ahead in with our uh, weeding tool. And you guys can kind of cut around this if you want to or you can just peel the whole thing up and cut it afterwards. It's whatever you wanna do. So we're just gonna start in a corner here and peel it up. And now we just have to weed out the inside so we're just gonna poke in here in the corner. and weed that out. And now is the time that you would apply some transfer tape here, but I urge you guys to wait until you are getting ready to apply this onto your car to apply the transfer tape. The longer that the transfer tape is adhered onto your printable vinyl, the more likely it is to peel off your ink that you have printed on here. And we don't want you guys to have any craft fail. So go ahead and leave this guy naked and just kind of cut him out, cut around him, and then lay him to the side until you're ready to put him on your car. And then definitely use a really mild transfer tape like this masking paper transfer tape. It's very gentle and it's the only one we found that works most of the time with printable vinyl because applying this down by hand would be very hard. So just keep that in mind, guys, and we'll just go ahead and move on to our next one. And now we'll move on to our next um, decal, guys, which is just going to be the regular vinyl decal. So here I have a jumbo roll of our 651 vinyl. And I'm just going to take it out here and place it on our mat. And just place enough for your decal. You know, if you're a little worried about it, you can place uh, more, just a whole sheet. It's really whatever you want to do. Just roll this out onto your mat here. Just make sure it's adhered well, and then we're just gonna go ahead and let the Cricut cut this out. But make sure that you go in Design Space and switch your material settings from printable vinyl to regular vinyl. And we are gonna use more pressure because our blade is not very sharp. But uh, if you guys have a great blade, don't even worry about more pressure. But make sure that you do switch your material settings to cut well. Alrighty guys, it is cut out, but you kind of can't see it and that's okay. I'm just gonna go in with my True Control knife and trim out the area that I, uh, don't need. And the first thing that you want to do when you're working with vinyl is to burnish. You always want to make sure you're burnishing your vinyl. So go in with your scraper tool and burnish all of this down. It'll make it so much easier to weed it. And now we're just going to start in a corner here and weed this up. And this is weeding beautifully guys. Now after you get the big pieces, I like to go in with the pin pin tool and get all the little pieces up. This is a beautiful decal that is going to look great on my car. And I also, guys, uh, just in case you were wondering why I chose white, I do have really dark tinted windows. So this is going to pop pop really well off that. And my car is a dark blue um, as well. So it's going to it's gonna look really cute with this white on there. And uh, on my old car, my Maxima, my friend Brianna, before I even got married for a, an amazing uh, birthday present one time, she got me a, um, a decal for my car. And I loved that decal so much. Um, and of course, I got a new car and <laughs> my last name is changed now. So I'm really excited to have another uh, monogram on my car because I really did love it. Okay, now we can go ahead and apply our transfer tape to this uh, monogram. It's not going to do anything uh, for us. So I'm just going to stretch this out, cut that off, and then apply it down just like that, and then burnish it. Okay. 
And once you peel that up, we're gonna burnish the back as well. And then if you're not gonna put this on your car right away, I do recommend cutting off the pieces of the transfer tape that's kinda um, exposed because you don't want it to get all dusty or anything like that, especially for when you choose to put this on your car. So just go ahead and trim that up and then this guy is ready to be applied. So guys, how you go about getting ready to apply a vinyl decal, whether you make it yourself or you purchase it, there is usually a piece of transfer tape your decal and then a piece of backing. Now that is just kind of, you know, universal across all um, decals. Now your uh, transfer paper could be clear, it could be have grids on it, it could be cloudy, uh, like this masking paper transfer tape. Whatever kind you have, it really doesn't matter. It all works the same way. So what you're gonna do when you get something like this is you are gonna flip it over, whether you make it or buy it, you're gonna flip it over and we're just gonna burnish from the back. And what this does, guys, is it helps gravity help us along here. So we are essentially pushing our decal to the front of our transfer tape here, which is what we want. So we're pushing it down to hopefully stick to that transfer tape better. And now you're just gonna get a corner here and lay it back down. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna very tightly and very carefully peel this backing back. And make sure you do it tightly. And the tighter you peel it, the better. And then if you see you're peeling up something you don't want to peel up like right here, all you have to do is go ahead and return that transfer paper down to where it's supposed to be or that backing and burnish a little bit more. And now you can peel this back and you can see that stuck this time now. Just be very careful with it. And there you go. So now once your backing is off, and your transfer is ready, what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna prep your car. Now go ahead and make sure that it is not a rainy day, unlike today here in Tennessee, it is very rainy. Uh, there's no way we're gonna be able to do this outside to demonstrate for you guys. Uh, but I don't really know how to get a camera out there either, so this is fine, guys. All you really need is these tips and tricks because, again, me showing you how to apply it on my car is not gonna help you a ton because every car is different and you know you might not want yours where I would want mine. So uh, I'm I'm just gonna kind of walk you guys through this because the steps are very important, especially taking precautions and things like that. So uh, let's just say your car's been sitting out for a while and you haven't had it washed. Well, make sure that you start with a very clean, very slick surface. So uh, even if you just wash your car, better safe than sorry, guys, you need to get some rubbing alcohol here and take some paper towels outside and make sure you wipe really, really well. If it's really dirty, you can start out with a washcloth with some water on it and then uh, dry it and then do alcohol. You just want it very, very clean. Once the area is super clean and super dry, what you're gonna wanna do is grab you a buddy because it's really important to have a second person there to help you decide where the middle is. It's so hard to say, okay, this looks good to me, but you're six inches you know, from your car. If you have a buddy that's back behind you about 10 feet away, they can tell you a little over to the left, you know, we'll bring it up on the right side a little bit. That's perfect. Then you'll know how to apply that down successfully and you'll know where to do it because guys, I'm gonna be real with you. Whenever you apply something like this onto a car, you really don't get any do-overs. It's really a one-time deal. If you mess it up, you basically have to go ahead and get a weeding tool and carefully peel it up from the glass on your car and recut it and everything. So definitely just make sure that you uh, have a buddy there to help measure things out and make sure you have it in the correct place. And once you do, you can just go ahead and lay it down. You can lay it down, taco it if you want to, which is laying it just like this, and place it in the middle first. And then once you have it in the middle, just go ahead and let those sides fall out. And then you can get your burnishing tool or use your hand or anything like that and gently burnish from the inside out. And once you do that, guys, it's as easy as peeling it off and revealing your amazing car decal. And I am so excited to put this one on my car. Um, and yeah, so I'm really excited to uh, be able to give you guys all these tips and tricks to help you guys master this project. I hope that you all enjoyed this awesome video on how to make car decals. I had so much fun creating it. And again, guys, don't forget to get this awesome font and this cut file for free down below. You guys will not regret it. They are so much fun to work with. And I hope that you guys uh, put these uh, tips and tricks to the test and make your own car decals. Thank you so much for watching, guys. See ya.